Welcome back to the BG Sports Show presented by Sports Radio America. I'm your host, Baxter Colburn. Joining me now in the studio is Connor Christensen. Welcome to the show, Connor. How are you, sir? Oh, I'm doing really well. Glad to be back on the show. Absolutely. So it's been a while since we've had you for fitnessy tips and for fight corners, and uh, we've got a, a new fitness tip today, sir. So what do you have in store for us today? Well, lately I've been getting a lot of uh, cardio-based questions. So first of all, the first question I'm going to answer is, should I do cardio before or after my workout? Oh, good question. The second uh, question is, how long should my cardio workout be? And there are multiple answers there, so pay attention. And okay. then the third question will be, can I go in the sauna instead of doing cardio? Oh, three very interesting questions. Okay. Yeah. Well, walk us through them then. Here, we'll start with number one then. So the question was, should I do cardio before or after my workout? Mm-hmm. And generally, it like with any other aspect of fitness, it all depends on your goals. Mm-hmm. But uh, typically, I like to do cardio at the end of my workout mm. because I I lift weights during okay. my workouts, so um, I I will get the heart going, you know, work the muscle in the way that I'm trying to get my muscles to get bigger and stronger, and then afterwards I will try to burn some fat because contrary to popular belief, weightlifting does not burn fat really. Mm. Like it does, but. If you're trying not to lose, as quickly, though. Yeah. If you're trying to lose weight, lifting weights is not going to be as helpful as going for a run sure. or going for a walk or Makes something. Makes sense. That's why runners are skinny usually. Exactly. So when you get the metabolism going by lifting weights, you're priming the muscle. And then when um, you do cardio at the end, it kind of prolongs this calorie burning. So if I did um, cardio before the workout and then did all my weightlifting and everything, mm-hmm. My body's kind of calmed down from the cardio. Hmm. So instead of instead of doing that, doing it at the end, letting my body continue to be worked up and continue to burn calories for you know up to hours after my workout, most people would like to burn calories without uh, without needing to do anything. That so. would be nice. Yeah, I think that's one of the the many questions I'm sure you hear on a yeah. weekly basis. It's like, how can I lose weight without doing anything? It's like, <laughs> what? <laughs> There's a few different things, but probably not uh, yeah. anything that you're going to want to hear. Exactly. That's surgery. Uh, always... <laughs> you can pay lots of money for surgery, but yes, we don't recommend I, that. I have seen. I have seen people. A uh, coworker of mine actually just got uh, lap band surgery. So, really? Yeah. He's probably lost a good seventy pounds. But wow, uh, your stomach literally gets smaller. There. That's a whole other fitness tip for a whole <laughs> other even... day. Wow. Okay. <laughs> uh, moving into the second question, how long should my cardio workout be? Now, if if you're doing if you're playing soccer, mm-hmm. and uh, we always hated it at the end of soccer, we had to do cardio at the end of soccer. We Woo! had to run sprints and yep. do all of that. Uh, those types of cardio workouts are only going to be five ten minutes. Yeah, yeah, they should be. They should be. Yes, <laughs> unless, I agree. You know, it depends unless... on the coach, but yes, I agree. <laughs> you know, it depends on how nice your coach is or how bad you guys did in the game before or whatever. Very true. <laughs> but generally, you know, ten minutes and. Uh, that's that's a good that's a good number if you've already been doing very cardio esque activities like playing football or doing playing sports and then doing your cardio after mm. you're done with your sport. Uh, that's a good ten minute range. But uh, if you're if I'm weightlifting, mm-hmm. I'll cardio for fifteen twenty minutes afterwards. What are your typical cardio workouts that you like to do? Uh, my personal favorite is rowing. I love oh, to okay, do sure. uh, rowing machines because that is. It is upper. It works my my back. I always like to yep. work out my back and. Um, the the rowing itself is very it works so many different muscles and mm. it's a, it's a great way to to lose weight that isn't so mundane like a lot of people are like I hate running on the treadmill because I just sit there and I run and mm-hmm. whatever and uh, I've never gotten bored rowing like it's really really difficult mm. so it it depends on how because I generally try to row for about two hundred meters to three uh, I'm sorry two thousand I was meters two hundred meters isn't very long but yeah okay <laughs> two thousand to three thousand meters and sure. that generally you know, it's been a while since I've done that. 15 minutes? Nah, it takes a little longer than that. Because you, you have to think that when you when you row, yeah. uh, it, it is also taking into account, like, the, the splash, or they call it the splash. Mm-hmm. It's like um, after you row, you don't just stop. You continue yeah. to move. So the, the machine actually takes, in, takes that it, yeah. into account. So uh, you, you kind of go seven, eight meters. Meters a stroke? Yeah, okay. pretty much. So you have to... Two thousand, three thousand meters is that's all. That's Takes all. a couple hundred strokes there. Yeah. Okay. And uh, that's also over a mile. Hmm. So mm-hmm. um, it's something to kind of put it in perspective. Sure. Um, you know, running is also always going to be a really, really good one. Um, I prefer the elliptical myself because okay. it's not as um, hard on your knees as yeah. a treadmill can be. And a lot of uh, if someone is overweight trying to lose, mm-hmm. um, you know, fifty, sixty pounds or whatever it is, then um, 
you can do a lot of damage to the knees. What about like I've seen like the stepper machines? Yep, that you... was that was going to be my the next okay. one I recommend. I've, I've, I remember having like a small version of those when I was at my house growing up. My mom had just a little stepper that she yep. would do a little stepper workouts on, and she'd mm-hmm. like lift weights or something while she was stepping and yeah. stuff too, like all kinds of stuff. So that's I that's mean, actually a really good workout. Is that good? That. Okay, yeah. yeah, absolutely. Anytime you can combine multiple exercises into one, that's that's always. I don't really know if good. I'm coordinated enough to do that. Hey, like, you like get stepping and lifting. <laughs> and, you know. get better with practice. Yeah, but, absolutely. Uh, if you, uh, I've I've seen also those like little uh, what is it they it's just air pressure i think that causes the stepper mm-hmm. on something like that one yep. of the one of the cheaper ones but if you go to an actual gym they actually have like a like a like a full scale yeah it's it? like a treadmill but with steps yeah like it's stairs yep. that yeah, yeah, you know yeah, it's like that. an escalator i've that, seen people like goes, try yeah. to sprint up those because it's like a, it's almost yeah. like a quick escalator and they yeah. like trying to like run up the stairs fast and you can change the speeds and everything mm-hmm. on it so i mean it's a great workout but uh um yeah I've, I've never seen the point of trying to sprint up <laughs> steps. And they, they uh, actually... unless, you're, unless someone's chasing you, I don't know if you ever <laughs> get a chance to run up there. Th- that's true. Um, it's, kind I, of, it's kind of sorry to deviate too fast. It's kind of yeah. like the age old like myth where it's like you're going up a set of stairs and you always feel like someone's like chasing you or there's something yeah. like coming up behind you. Like, ah, oh, I gotta get up the stairs. <laughs> it's like, I'm, I'm I still might do that occasionally. I'm just oh, like, you know, I like two and three up the stairs because I got longer legs. I'm just like, yeah. all right, upstairs, get inside quickly, close the door. Yeah, well, I mean, I I have shorter legs. I still like to go two or yeah. three up the stairs. Just I can't it's, remember the uh, last time I I went step by step. I usually skip at least one. Well, I think we did that once when we were running stairs back oh, in college. Oh, you're right. Yeah, that was. I felt weird. Like, would, I'm yeah. not used to touching all these stairs on the way up no, and down the stairs. It, it was unnatural. It and, was and painful. Very, yeah, very I wasn't painful. a huge fan of that workout. Yeah. But, yeah. It was a good workout. It just, no, we didn't like it. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> um, so, yes, moving on from that, we're going to go into the last question, which mm-hmm. was, can I just go into a sauna for cardio? Now, the thought behind it kind of makes sense because a sauna raises your uh, I was going to say, like, yeah, I, is it more so from a sweat perspective? or yeah. is it, okay. so uh, you, can, you can actually lose weight. Um, hmm. A lot of um, sports where you lose weight, like wrestling especially, is, sure. is famous for doing sauna um, you know, just sitting in a sauna after a workout, you're already burning calories, so heat heat up more and uh, sweat more, lose more weight, whatever. But uh, it depends on what your goal is again for the for the exercise, because um, if your goal is to simply lose weight, then going into a sauna is you know that that is definitely a good tool to do lose it, yeah. weight. Um, but if you do cardio, first off, you'll lose weight faster. And sure. second of all, you will work several other parts of your body. So first of all, your muscles are being worked now mm. when you actually do the exercise. Your your muscles are getting stronger. Uh, the second aspect is your your heart has to work harder to pump blood, so your heart gets that makes stronger. Sense. Sure. And the third one is your respiratory system. Your lungs become mm. stronger. They become more efficient at uh, sending oxygen to mm. your to your heart. And, yeah. And uh, and then, well, technically they. It's all the pulmonary artery. <laughs> Never mind. We don't, have to, stuff, we don't yeah. have to get into that. But, uh, um, you know, you're not working your cardiorespiratory mm-hmm. systems. You're not working your muscu- your musculature or anything like that when you just sit in a sauna. Mm-hmm. So no. sitting in a sauna is fine, but cardio. I'm, I'm curious now because I'm, you may have seen this on Facebook a couple of weeks ago. I had the opportunity to try hot yoga for the first time. I saw that you it was, did it. I, it was I'm, interesting. Yeah, I've been meaning yeah. to talk to you about it. I feel like this kind of works with the whole sauna thing because, uh-huh. I mean, it was a regular – I had never done – you know, professional yoga or whatever, you know, yeah. like actually yeah. in a class, you know, you make fun of it in the bathroom mirror or whatever, but <laughs> it's, it's great exercise. It, it is. And that's the thing. Like I was, I certainly had good exercise, but it was an, obviously an heightened temperature. I think well, it was at least a hundred degrees in the room or something. Must have been so sweating it was, bullets. It, it, it was weird because, because of being raised in Florida, because of all the conditioning and stuff that I did in mm-hmm. Florida, even though it's been a few years, it, my body reverted to that quickly, which yeah. was nice. Mm-hmm. And then it obviously got a little overwhelmed after a while, but it was weird to see how fast my body adjusted to it. It was like, oh, we're used to this. You know, we're used to being hot. But does something like hot yoga where you sweat just buckets and you're, you're working out, but you're not yeah. like crazy exerting yourself you're, yeah. you're exerting yourself but in a different facet though is that a, is it not is that another yeah. good way to, to lose weight if you need the, to it, it definitely is a great way to lose weight but uh because uh, you're you're combining the weight loss of the sauna with mm-hmm. the muscle stretching of yoga yeah so i'm assuming you weren't doing any hardcore like muscle building yoga which there, no, which no. there is oh well, yeah, yeah muscle building yoga which is it was a, a lot no of different joke. poses a lot of different well stretches as yeah. you were you know um that is that's very good i would recommend not doing super extensive work Mm -hmm. when when you're uh in that heightened temperature in the the sauna like conditions because you run the risk of uh 
going into heat stroke. And yeah, and there, there was water like breaks, that. and they told us yeah. to take the water when we needed to and stuff, which was helpful. I yeah. mean, I, I went through two bottles of water while I was in there. It was a 90-minute yeah. session, so it was... Oh, wow. Yeah, okay. I didn't yeah. realize that going in. I was like, oh, it'll probably be like 45, 50 minutes, and I kept looking at my watch. I'm like, Damn. huh. It's, it's over an hour. It's an hour and 20. Oh, God. How long do we have left? 45 minutes is long for yoga. Yeah. For and me. for me, for being the first time going into it, like I was, maybe I was purposely not told how long it was. I wasn't. I don't know. Either way. But yeah. it was. Well, question for you. Yeah. Would you do it again? Um, yes, but I don't know if I would go back to the same place that I did. My wife okay. has been to different hot yoga places before, and she said that. The one that we, the one that we just went to, uh, it was just one teacher, kind of like in the back of the room, saying, "Do this, do this, do this, do this, do this, do this," and everybody just kind of did it. But mm-hmm. the other one that she's been to, she preferred more so, is more of like a nice soft music, and the the teacher actually does it with you, yeah. and it's more so about you know getting the pose instead of just like trying to book through the exercises, and that's yeah. kind of what it felt like. Mm-hmm. It felt more like an exercise than actually trying to relax and find it's, your your inner chi or whatever that, yeah, that is one of the benefits of yoga is, mm-hmm. is doing that slow relaxed uh, especially with the uh, with the instructor you can connect yeah. with them and yeah and I, I definitely would uh would try it out again i feel like all right but well, i just have to find a different that's really different cool place to do it so. <laughs> all right well connor thank you for joining uh me today on the on the show i appreciate it thanks for having me all right well we're going to take a quick break when we come back we've got more action here on the bg sports show we'll be right back right after this